Hello everybody and welcome slash welcome back to my YouTube channel. I really hope you're doing okay and having a great day and an amazing week. My name is Effie and today it is time for my declutters. I, I do an annual declutter where I get rid of anything out of my collection that is kind of out of date, a bit old, I'm not using. I want to make it clear that I'm still trying to grow my makeup collection. I'm not trying to cut it down to the bare necessities. So I will not be getting rid of loads in these declutters. But hopefully I'll be getting rid of enough to keep people happy. We are starting off our declutters today with our base products. So that means we are doing primers, foundations, concealers, powders and setting sprays. Like I said, I do a declutter every year. So there's not loads in my collection and there's not loads to get rid of. But I will be doing some swatches throughout and letting you know how I feel about each product as we go. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please do just keep on watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. I put up two videos a week and it's all makeup content. So if that sounds like the type of thing, then this is the place for you. But other than that, I will let you enjoy the video. Okay, so here is all of my primers. I keep them in like glossy boxes that I've... Uh, received and I just keep them in here. I also have foundations back here I'll probably be doing them in this video as well But I have all of these and then these ones are just ones that are stored somewhere else I just grab them all out so we can go through them. So let's pull all of these ones out Okay, there we go. That is all of my primers. I've managed to round them all up now So we're just gonna go through them one by one. I can't imagine that I'm gonna get rid of loads here I probably mentioned in the intro, but I am still trying to grow my makeup collection. There's a lot of primers here that I've tested recently and haven't used all that much since the testing video. So I don't want to be getting rid of things that I'm not sure on how I feel about them. But I will be packing up most of these things. The things I'm going to keep out are things that are in my project pan. Um, I've just finished the second quarter of my project pan, so that can go away. But products that are in my third quarter are going to stay out and for me that is this this is the xx revolution pink elixir priming oil thing i'm not really sure i don't actually think they sell this anymore but i do quite like it it's got pink shimmers in it but once you put foundation over the top you can't see it so this will be staying out so this goes in its own little special category of not being packed away and then i'm also going to allow myself to keep one more primer out just in case i fancy using something a bit different and for me, that is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This was in my recent favourites video. I really, really like this. I use it a lot. There's a heavy dent in there. But I don't use loads of it, so that's why I've not hit pan or anything on it yet. But I am really enjoying this. So this will also stay out. So the rest will either be packed away or decluttered. Uh, like I said, probably won't get rid of loads, but let's make a start. We have the Rodial Soft Focus Glow Drops. These came in my Glossy Box Advent Calendar. I really, really, really enjoy these. They're actually very similar to the XX Revolution ones. Um, just less glittery, more pearlescent. And I really, really enjoy it. But these are so expensive. And I feel bad for talking about them on my channel. Because I don't feel like you need to spend that amount of money. But I do really enjoy them. So I'm going to keep them and I probably should use them on my channel. If I ever do an expensive makeup video, this will definitely be in it. We have the Collection Primed and Ready Hydrating Primer. I really, really like this. I've been reaching more for hydrating primers because I've had issues with dryness on my skin. So I've reached for this a lot and I really enjoy it. This is definitely staying. It's super inexpensive as well. Highly recommend it. This is the MUA Pro Base Smooth Set and Prime Blur Stick. My friend actually decluttered this from her collection and gave it to me. It's just like a stick and you just sort of rub it on your skin and it mattifies your skin. I don't like this. There's loads left in it because she barely used it and I've barely used it. Um, yeah, barely used up. So I am going to actually declutter this. I just don't think I'm going to use it. I do have another MUA primer somewhere that I prefer. So this is going to go. This is the Primark Prime and Infuse Instant Hydration Priming Spray. They, I think they still do this, just in different packaging now. Um, I really like this. It's sort of very similar to the MAC packaging or the Anastasia packaging. I can't remember which one. But I do really like this. This is really nice in summer. So this is definitely going to stay. And I'm going to actually attempt to try and use up as much as possible this summer. I do really like it. don't know if it does much, but it just feels nice. This is the Beauty Crop Avocado Poreless Primer. This was very kindly sent to me to buy Beauty Crop for me to test it. And I have quite enjoyed it. It's actually used a fair amount up already. So this is definitely going to be staying. In terms of pore refining, I don't think it does loads, but it does feel really nice on the skin, super hydrating, really nice to use, really enjoying it. 
The NYX Marshmallow Primer, again, this was sent to me by NYX um, last year. Uh, it does sort of squirt out a little bit after you've used it. But I really enjoy this primer. It smells really nice. It's really soothing, hydrating. I just really enjoy this. I use it fairly often. This is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. This is obviously a tester of it. I'm so close to using this up. I might actually keep this out and not pack it and try and get it used up before I move. I'm moving in about three weeks, so I think I could do that. Um, yeah, there's not a lot left in it. It's pretty much filled with air at the moment So I'm gonna try and use this up and get it finished. This is the Rimmel lasting perfection uh, lasting finish primer day proof primer um, Skin perfecting I've not actually used this since my testing Rimmel video So I'm definitely gonna keep it and try and get some more use out of it from what I remember I quite liked it. I don't think I liked the foundation So I think I need to test this with some other foundations and see if I prefer it the NYX Pore Filler Targeted Stick, again, this was sent to me by NYX, but I love this. I haven't reached for it in a while because I've been using the e.l.f. Um, putty Primer, and they do similar things, just in different formats. But I do really like this. This is definitely same. This is the iHeart Revolution Strawberry Whip Pore Blurring Primer with Vitamin C and E. This was in my project pan at the start of the year for the first three months. I started off not particularly liking it, but I do quite like it now. I haven't really reached for it since my, it was in my project pan, and I feel like I should. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this, because in case you don't know, in my project pan, I use products for three months, and then for the final three months of the year, I bring them all back and try and use them as much as possible. So because I don't hate this, I'm going to keep it and try and get it used up by the end of the year. The Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Face Primer in Matte. Again, haven't used this since the testing video. I'm not even sure if the testing video is up yet. I think it is. It would have gone up recently if it is. Um, I can't honestly remember how I felt about this because I pre-filmed a load of testing videos and this was one of them and I can't remember how I felt about it. So I'm definitely going to keep this and try and give it more of a shot. I will say I'm not a big fan of matte primers and foundations at the moment, but I'll give it a go and see if I like it. Um, yeah, it is pretty inexpensive as well. The Revolution Pro Pore Primer, again, haven't used this since the testing video, which is what I'm getting frustrated at because I have so many new products that I don't know how I feel about them. What I might try and do is try and use all of my base products five times and try and figure out how I use, how I feel about them. And at least one of those times has to be a full day's wear and try and get a better idea of how I feel about them. But I'll give this more of a go and see how I feel. This is the Revolution Pro Correcting Primer. It's the anti-redness primer, so it's a green primer, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this because this is probably incredibly out of date. Um, I've had this for longer than I've had my YouTube channel, and I've had my YouTube channel for a year. Um, so yeah, this definitely needs to go. I'm gonna get rid of this one. The Barry M Pixie Skin Blurring Beauty Elixir. Again, this is super old. It's also pretty much used up. I don't know why I still have it. I think I still have it because it's really good if you have sunburn, which I currently do have, um, and it's really nice and I really enjoy it. And I do want to do a testing Barry M makeup video, but I think I'm going to declutter this and just pick up a new one. Yeah, that's probably a better idea because this is almost finished anyway. This probably goes straight in the bin. I will say I will try and give products to other people, but if they are out of date, they do need to go in the bin. Health and safety first, everybody. And the final primer is the MUA Pro Base Mattifying Flawless Primer. I've just taken this out of my project pan. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not using loads of mattifying primers at the moment, but I do quite like this one. It works quite well. So long as I don't put it over dry patches or anything like that, I think it works quite nicely. So I'm gonna keep this one and pack it away as well. I've just realized I have another primer and I don't know where it is. It's the XX Revolution H2 Glow Bomb. Um, I took it with me to my festival to see if I'd use it at a festival. I don't use it at festivals, so I'm going to declutter that one as well. So I started with 18, I'm decluttering these three and the H2 Glow Bomb, so four. That's pretty good, so I'm going to have 14 left. These two are going to go into the bin. This one and the H2 Glow Bomb I will try and give to friends or family if they want it. Um, I'm not going to send it to anybody, I just don't want to do that, I don't think that's very hygienic. Um, but yeah, I'm getting rid of four, keeping 14. And all of these ones get to be packed away and I will keep these three out and use them over the next three weeks. 
Okay, time to do foundations, as you can tell by the sea of beige. Again, let's start by taking out the ones that I want to use in the next three weeks. And the ones that are going into my project pan are these. These are the Revolution Conceal and Define foundations. I have F1 and two F2s. I'm going to keep all three of them out just because I'm not sure which ones I'm going to want to use or how much is left in each of them. So I'm going to keep these and then out. I get to pick one other foundation to keep out in case I fancy mixing it up. And I think I think I'm going to go for a bit of a random one really. I think I'll go for this one. This is the Primark foundation, the Longwear Radiant Matte Foundation in 123 Warm. I don't think this is the best shade for me. Um, sorry, I was just testing a few shades of these while I was getting them out. Um, I don't think this is the best shade for me, but I like it enough and I actually really like the foundation. So this will be my rogue one in case I fancy using something a bit different. So I won't pack that one. The rest are up for debate. Um, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in matte. I haven't used this since the testing video. I don't remember what I think of it. I think I, re I remember knowing, I remember thinking that it was very thin. Uh, but I can't remember any other thoughts I had on it. So I'm definitely going to keep this and try and get a bit more use out of it again. Frustrating that I'm not using the products I have. Um, but I'll get some use out of it soon. The Revolution Pro foundation drops. I love these. These are my favourites video. I will 100% be repurchasing these when I run out of them. Um, it's not a lot of product in here. It's 18 millilitres. Um, and it does go down quite quickly. I've used a fair amount of this already, but I will repurchase it. I think it's about eight pounds. Firm favorite, not going anywhere. The NYX Total Control Pro. I've used these twice. The first time I hated it. The second time I didn't mind it, but I feel like I didn't like it enough to keep it. And I think another friend of mine might actually really get on well with this. So I might see if she wants it. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these. Uh, because I have this. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. This also isn't my favourite. It's very full coverage. It's very matte. It's not my favourite. It's not my go-to. I also don't think it's a best shade for me. I think this is a better shade for me, but oh well. Uh, they were both sent to me by NYX, which is very nice of them. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep this one and get rid of the drops. Um, not my favourite, but I can use it and that's the main thing. The MUA Pro Base Longwear Matte Finish Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations. I absolutely love it and it's so inexpensive. I think it might be five pounds. Again, like the um, Wet n Wild one, it comes on a spatula, but it's a bit thicker, so it's not as difficult to use. This isn't going anywhere, I love it. This is in the shade uh, 102 in case you're interested. The Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturiser. This is the one I put on the back of my hand because I think this is a terrible shade for me. I also didn't like it when I used it, unfortunately. I'm going to keep it because I haven't used it since the video and I want to try and use it a few more times before deciding that I absolutely hate it. But I also haven't heard great reviews about it, so I am just a bit worried that I'm going to hate it. But for now, I'm going to keep it and keep using it. I have the shade for, uh, Fair 4N in case you're interested, but and it looks like that. It's very peachy. It's not fair. I'd call that like beige pretty much. The Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Hydration Boost Full Coverage Foundation. Again, haven't used this since the video. I'm as frustrated as you are, don't worry. And I don't remember loving this, but again, I need to keep it and test it and make sure that I don't love it. Um, so yeah, gonna keep this and test it a bit more, unfortunately. But I will start getting more use out of things, hopefully. The e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation in the shade Pearl. If this is their lightest shade, it's not very light. If I just hold it next to this one, it's just not very light. Um, I remember quite liking the finish of this and like the formula, but I'm not sure about the shade. Again, we'll have to test it more. It's not going anywhere, but yeah, unfortunately you need to test it more. This is the Primark um, Double Coverage Matte Foundation in the shade Porcelain 01. I'm gonna declutter this. It's a dupe apparently for the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. But I really didn't like this. It's so full coverage. It's like a mask. It's just too much for me. So I'm going to declutter this one. I have the NYX Total Control Pro Hue Shifters. These are a foundation lightener. I'm going to keep hold of these. I don't use them a lot, but they do come in handy every now and then. So I'm, I'm going to keep them and keep hold of them. The XX Revolution. I think this is called the Fodation. It's in the shade F2. It's very matte. 
and it's high coverage but it's not super high coverage and I did quite like it so I'm going to keep hold of this one especially as I'm going to declutter this. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation. This is so old they don't even make this foundation anymore. It's been reformulated and it's got a different name. It's like 36 hour or something like that. So because I'm going to get rid of this and throw it in the bin because it's completely out of date having this one is a kind of good enough replacement in my opinion so that works well for me this one is the revolution fast base foundation stick this is the one i have here which is a really good shade for me but this is finished like that's it fully rolled up as you can see there's nothing left and i could try and dig that out but I don't care that much i'm just going to throw it away i've enjoyed using this it's a pretty good stick foundation it's not my favorite but it's good enough and then the Collection Lasting Perfection Glow Foundation in the shade Porcelain 2. This has just been in my project pan. I really like this. It's a good level of coverage for everyday work, things like that. I really do like it. It's not too drying. It's not too matte or anything like that. It's a really good foundation. Very inexpensive. Highly recommend. But there we go. Those are all my foundations. I started with 17. I'm decluttering four. Um these ones are all coming with me to the new house two of these will be going into the bin um two of these i'll try and pass on to people i think i know somebody who'll want this um and not too sure about this one but we'll see now time for concealers i have quite a few here not as many as i have foundations but we might as well make a start um the one that's going into my project pan is this one it is the collection lasting perfection concealer in the shade one rose porcelain uh it's a really good brightening shade on me it's a bit pink toned but it works really well under the eyes and places like that so that one will not be packed if you're wondering what this is it's powders i'll be doing them next um but let's carry on with this and then one that i'm going to keep out alongside that i think i'll go for the ColourPop no filter foundation i uh, concealer sorry i've not used this since the testing video i can't remember what i think of it I think it's quite a matte concealer, but I will give it a go. It's quite lightening, which will work really nicely for me. And now the rest. We'll just start from this end and work my way down the line. So we've got the Conceal and Hydrate in C6. I also have it in C1. This is my shade, so I'm going to keep hold of that one because I do like this formula. But this was decluttered by a friend and she gave it to me and sort of said, you know, if you could use it, you might as well because it doesn't work for her but i've not used it since she gave it to me it's just obviously too dark for me I, it looks fine now but i actually have a tan for the first time in my life so that's why but i'll declutter this one we then have the i heart revolution heartbreakers concealer in the shade buttermilk i always complain about this because i don't like the applicator it's a heart shape which i know is super cute but doesn't hold a lot of product also this concealer doesn't have much coverage but I think I'm going to keep hold of it just to keep it as an option, as a lighter weight, lighter coverage, sorry, um, and keep hold of it. It's not too bad. The MUA Pro Base Full Coverage Concealer, this is not full coverage. It's got very little coverage. Considering how much I love the foundation, this just doesn't really do a lot. Um, so I think I'm going to declutter it, actually. I normally keep hold of it because for a long time, it was the lightest concealer I have. But now I have like these two and the Colourpop one. I don't need this one and I much prefer them. So I'm going to declutter this one. I then have the Revolution Conceal and Define in shade C1. I started the year with three of these. This went into my project pan at the start of the year and I used two of them up. So I only have this one left. I think I can get this used up by the end of the year. So I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep hold of it and try and use it up. The NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in shade zero one pale this has just been in my project pan and i have enjoyed it it's quite matte um i don't always like having a matte concealer but when i do this is a really good option it's super light super brightening and it's not too heavy it's quite lightweight for under the eyes and things like that so i do quite like the rimmel it. the multitasking concealer this is my current favorite concealer i absolutely love it it's so lightweight it's such a thin formula it's absolutely perfect i love it I will repurchase this when I use it all up so it's not going anywhere. The e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in shade Fair Beige. Again, is this their lightest shade? Because it's so dark and so like warm on me that it's not the best. I really want to try their regular camo concealer. So maybe I'll try and see if they have a better shade for me. 
But I'm going to keep hold of this one. I do quite like it. It's kind of a shade I can use on my blemishes. I don't have a lot of them, so it does come in handy and I do use it a fair amount. The XX Revolution concealer, I don't know what it's called and the name is not on it. But I do quite like this. Again, I think it's a bit more matte. I haven't used it recently, but I think it's more of a matte concealer. But I do quite like it and it works really nicely. So I'm going to keep hold of it. The Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Concealer, again, haven't used this since the testing video. But I have just realised the testing video might have only gone up like a week or so ago or fairly recently and I pre-filmed it months ago so that's why I haven't used it because when I've been filming other videos I don't want to use a product before the testing video goes up so I'm not allowed to use it in my videos and then when I do my makeup for work and things like that I just use my project pan makeup so it never gets reached for but hopefully now the testing video is up I can reach for a bit more and get a better idea for it and finally the Primark PS Pro Camouflage Flawless Matte Concealer in the shade 111 Cool. I'm going to get rid of this. I've not used it since the testing video and that was last year. It's just way too thick, way too heavy. It's it's very thick. It's a lot like the double foundation coverage thing. It's just a bit too much. It's a great shade, surprisingly. Uh, but yeah, just not for me. So there we go, I am decluttering three. I think I started with 13, so I'm keeping 10, decluttering three. Two will stay out, the rest will be packed away. Let's move on to powders and then we'll do setting sprays and that'll be it for this video because I don't want it to be too long. Time to do powders. I don't have that many of these. I also don't have a lot of setting sprays so hopefully we can get through this quite quickly. Again, let's pick out the one that I'm keeping for my project pan. This is the Primark Bake It Setting Powder in the shade Nude. I actually really like this so I'm excited to get more use out of it. That won't be packed. And then I want to keep one more out in case I fancy using something different. And it's going to have to be the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I normally keep this in my work bag in case I need to powder it down throughout the day. So I'm going to keep doing that. But it means I won't be packing it away. So those two are going to stay out. Let's work through the rest. So we have the XX Revolution Pressed Powder in Translucent. I actually didn't really love this powder because it's very chalky. Um, it's just not my favourite. But currently it's my only other pressed powder, so I am going to keep hold of it. I might declutter it at some point, maybe next year, but yeah. The Revolution Translucent Powder, um, I've had this for ages, the writing has worn off. This was in my project pan at the start of the year. Obviously didn't finish it up because there's so much in here, but I'm going to keep hold of it and keep trying to use it up and hopefully get a bit more use out of it. I doubt I'll ever finish this. Maybe one day. The I Heart Revolution uh, Tasty Scented Powder Peach. I don't know. Scented Loose Powder in Peach. I love this. I think this is £5 and it's my favourite powder. It's not translucent. They do have a translucent one. I think that's the coconut one. They also have a medium, which is banana, and then a dark, which is chocolate banana or something like that. It says they're scented. I don't know it's a scent in it, but I do really love this, so this isn't going anywhere. The MUA Loose Setting Powder, this has just come out of my project pan and I hated using it. I really don't like it. It's a nice enough powder. It works quite nicely under the eyes. It's very, very, very finely milled and it works really well under the eyes, but it's just too much for the rest of my face and there's just no point me keeping it when I have other powders that I just prefer to use. So I'm going to declutter this one. The Collection Lasting Perfection Sheer Loose Powder in Matte. I've haven't used this recently but from what I remember I didn't hate it. I think I prefer powders that have a little bit of shade to it that aren't white and this looks like it does so I'm going to keep hold of it. Hopefully get a bit more use out of it but it does look a bit chunky. Then have the e.l.f. HD powder. I don't think I've used this since the video but this seems very similar to the MUA one. Mm, it feels a bit softer actually. I'll give that to it. It does feel a bit softer. So I'll keep hold of this and try and get a bit more of an idea of how I feel about it. Because I don't have a lot of powders. So it would be good to mix it up and use this one a bit more. And then we have the Primark Natural Finish Flawless Powder and Foundation in 212 Neutral. It looks like this. It is a powder foundation apparently. like It clearly has coverage to it. I never use powder foundations. 
and I don't reach for this as a powder because it's just a bit too much. But I think I will keep hold of it and test it out a bit more. So there we go. I think I started with nine and I'm getting rid of one um, and the rest is staying. We'll quickly do setting sprays because I don't have very many of them. There we go. Those are all my setting sprays. I only have five. Um, this one and this one are nearly empty. Um, so I'm going to keep hold of both of them. In fact, first of all, the one that's in my project pan, or the one that's going to be in my project pan, I think is this one, the e.l.f. Uh, Makeup Mist and Set. This is new. I, I haven't really used it since the testing video, but it's quite a small bottle. It's already down to about here. I reckon I can get that used up in three months, so that'll be good. And then the rest, I'm just going to keep all of them. I'll just quickly run through them for you. This is the Revolution Pro Fix oil control fixing spray. I don't know if they make this one anymore, but there's not a lot left in there. I can get this finished up. Um, in terms of which one I'm going to keep out, I'm going to keep out the Urban Decay. There is nothing left in there. I'm going to have to buy a new one. But I'll keep that one out for now. Um, that one's not going anywhere. This is the Collection Primed and Ready Dewy Makeup Fixing Spray. This has just come out of my project pan. It's about half empty, so I'm going to keep hold of it and use it all up. And this is the XX Revolution gold fix look how pretty it is i really like this i actually like spraying it on my body more than my face but i do really like it and maybe i'll get a bit more use out of it now that it's a summer time and i can look like a golden glowing goddess but yeah all five of them are staying didn't declutter any i'm gonna leave the video here my battery is flashing at me I've done quite a bit in this video, I'm going to try and keep it quite short, I will let Effie do the outro. There we go, that is the declutter video, I really hope you enjoyed it, if you did please give it a big thumbs up and if you like my content please consider subscribing. I put up two videos a week and it's all makeup content so if that sounds like the type of thing then this is the place for you. I hope you're not too mad at me for not getting rid of loads but I'm still trying to grow my collection and if it makes you feel any better I've now got to move all of this stuff to a new house which is going to be loads of fun as I'm sure you can imagine. I'll let you go. I hope you have a great day and an amazing week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.